And we have breaking news on this Friday evening. A weird situation playing out in downtown Las Vegas. Metro police took a man into custody after he was trespassing at Metro headquarters and MLK. Police becoming potential victims of crime themselves. Uh, we're still finding out more about it. News 3's George Acosta is down there on the ground with what he's learning. George? Well, yeah, the scene here is still active with several entrances into Metro's headquarters still blocked off. Now, a lot of the investigation is concentrated here to my right shoulder at that parking garage just behind me where uh, the initial incident happened. But if we look at those details from early this morning, Metro police say that it all happened around 10 this morning, again, by that garage where they say that they encountered a suspicious male in the rear parts of that parking garage. Now, police have since identified the suspect as 32 year old Christopher Engel who police say was within an area primarily restricted to employees. Now, detectives say the suspect was wearing a tactical vest and carrying a knife as well as a pair of medical scissors. Now, they also say he was attempting to break into a forensics lab vehicle. And while police say the suspect was not successful in that break in, they say those vehicles typically don't have anything that he could have been looking for as they only carry electronic items used for digital investigations and they don't carry any weapons. Now, however, police say they do believe the suspect was looking to harm law enforcement personnel, which Metro Police Deputy Chief Dory Corrin says with recent events, they aren't taking this lightly. This past week alone, we had a, a really high number of critical incidents and our officers are out there, as the sheriff has said, in over 110 de 10 degree heat, working very hard to keep this community safe and they're doing amazing work. So we appreciate everything that they do. And we ask the community to continue to thank them as they see them out in the streets, out in the public. Now, police say the suspect was taken into custody with no further incidents, and that suspect is facing a couple of charges, including trespassing and attempted battery with a deadly weapon. But for now, reporting live near Metro headquarters, Georgia Coast on News 3. I'm sure Metro police have a lot of questions for that man. Hopefully they get the answers they're looking for. George, thank you.